Okay, so a couple of things before we start. My laziness appears to have bitten me in the boot. I mentioned this in one of my Q&A videos, but just in case you missed it, when I typed out this bit, I actually wanted you to provide me a list of your peripherals, not just a few key items on the desk. While I wish I was good enough to just look at any given keyboard, mouse, headset, or monitor and know what brand, model, and specs they have right off the top of my noggin, I'm not. So for future videos, please follow the template and the example in the description of this video below. The submission video will also have the description updated, so don't worry about that. And now that that's out of the way, let's begin. Starting off strong, we have me. And by strong, I mean not really, since pretty much all of my pictures break every rule I set in the submission video. But I thought it might be interesting to quickly show you guys what I had before I started really investing in the aesthetics of my setup. Not too long ago, I was using the i7-5820K with a GTX 980 Ti Amp Extreme graphics card inside of the Corsair 750D case. We have three screens, a 28-inch 4K ASUS panel in the middle, a 27-inch Acer on the left, and a 19-inch Acer on the right, supported by the box for my Shure SM7B microphone. Said microphone is supported by the newer boom arm, and it runs into the DBX286S preamp processor, which supports my Scarlett Solo, and a bunch of little knickknacks that my then-girlfriend had made for me. Scattered around the desk are Logitech 5.1 speakers and my Corsair Strafe keyboard, and Logitech G502 Pro Core mouse both on the Reflex Labs extended mouse pad. And then in the far back, we have the Logitech C920 webcam that I used for my Let's Plays. Not too long after, I made kind of a ghetto standing desk where I kept most of the same components. I abandoned the little monitor, put a coffee table on top of my desk, swapped out my strafe for the Logitech G910 Orion Spark for review purposes, and stood up all the time. And then I decided to stop being a cheap son of a pun and buy an actual standing desk. If you want to see a more recent version of this setup, I have a video back from October that you can go and check out. Once I make a few more changes, you can expect a full room tour. I gotta clean. Now let's get to the real people and pay the subhuman no never mind. First off, we have Roasty McToasty, a super fun name with his single monitor black themed setup. His strong first build consists of the i5-7600K CPU with a GTX 1070 Strix graphics card inside of the NZXT S340 Elite case, with an assist from Pluto to help prevent GPU sag. Thanks for the support, Pluto. You may not be a planet anymore, but you're my world, bro. The gaming setup pops in all the right places in the dark, complemented by the RGB lighting coming from the Corsair K70 keyboard and Logitech G502 Proteus Spectrum mouse. You'll find a couple of Logitech speakers, a few cables, an adorable little globe, a slightly too large SteelSeries QCK mouse pad, and a clock chilling out on top of the desk. Always good to have a clock that isn't your taskbar around. Thanks a ton for rendering, Mr. McToasty. With that Kraken cooler, I'm sure your computer does not run nearly as hot as your name does. Our next entry is Tor with several setups. His first rig, called Glassbox, that he uses for gaming, coding, and other computer things, sports an i7-4790K CPU at 4.4GHz. The EVGA GTX 980 Ti Superclocked Plus that drives three monitors, 16GB of DDR3 HyperX Fury RAM at 1866MHz inside the InWin 805 Infinity case, where he added the note, Horrible case, don't buy it. He uses a 250GB Samsung 850 EVO SSD and a 3TB drive for storage, as well as an extra 160GB Western Digital drive for backups. For peripherals, on or around his IKEA desk, he's using the Logitech MX Master mouse, the Razer Black Widow Chroma keyboard, the Logitech C922 webcam, and the Astro A40 headset with the Astro Mixamp. His cable management is not visible from where he sits or stands, and it was engineered to be quickly disconnected in the event that there is a LAN party to be conquered. He also put his console area on display where I can see a PlayStation 3, Xbox, Wii, and a Nintendo 64. That's pretty boss. His second PC, called the Inverted Sleeper, is used for when friends come over to play less demanding games like CSGO. A Sleeper PC is basically an ugly looking machine that boasts some pretty awesome power. He says this one is the opposite. Looks pretty decent, but isn't overly impressive in the bedroom, if you know what I mean. It's kind of a Frankenstein build, made with parts ripped from an old HP machine or stuff he and his friends don't use anymore. It sports an Intel Xeon W3580 processor with the NVIDIA Quadro FX1800 GPU, 8GB of crap RAM, a 250GB Western Digital hard drive, all in the NZXT H440 case. Due to the short CPU cable on the power supply, he's positioned it in such a way that makes it look like it's trying its best to hide its shame. But it does have some ambient RGB lighting, so that means he's getting 60fps in my heart, at the very least. There's no monitor there yet, but that's because the main rig comes first, and I can respect that. Next up is Aelin, who appears to have all his ducks in a row with this triple monitor-ish white, black, silver, and blue theme. It reminds me of Esper from Magic the Gathering. 
He's got two monitors, a 25-inch 144Hz 1 millisecond response time panel from AOC, and a 29-inch ultrawide from Samsung sitting atop his IKEA desk, with another large display to the left, all driven by his machine running the i5-6600K CPU at 4.6GHz and the ASUS GTX 1070 Strix graphics card. The case is a Thermaltake Core P5 that he spray-painted white to match his theme, and wall-mounted with loads of acoustic foam, which looks incredibly attractive even if it does appear to be ever so slightly crooked. He's also spray-painted parts of his GPU and RAM for better color consistency. The devil is in the details, and I would totally sin for this. His other peripherals include the Behringer microamp, the Corsair K70 RGB keyboard where he sanded the paint off some of the keycaps for better illumination, two mice, the Logitech MX Master, as well as the Logitech G403 wireless mouse that sit on some phone stands that he hot-glued micro USB cables to so they double as charging stations, the Blue Snowball microphone, a Lepi digital amplifier, Audio-Technica ATH M50X headphones, and some wireless headphones from Eon Fine that he uses for on the go. His shelf above puts his pig, ducks, and clock on the display, and down on his desk are a couple of neat pocket watches, the Amazon dot in white, what appears to be a vodka bottle, I may need some of this after getting all of these submissions in, and a plant to provide you that extra oxygen for when this setup takes your breath away. Cable management is pretty good, things are neat and out of the way. We'll conclude this setup on this adorable light switch. Thank you for entering, Aelin. Your room has treated my eyeballs well. Our next entry with vertical dual monitors is Luke. Inside the NZXT S340 case, he packs the i5-4690K processor and the R9 380 GPU. His theme changes with the season, using the appropriate lighting for different times of the year. I can respect that. Atop his IKEA Linmon desk, you'll find his EVGA Torque X5 mouse, Razer Deathstalker Chroma keyboard, the Blue Snowball on a boom arm, a couple of Dell speakers, and a bunch of Joker and Harley Quinn pop vinyl figures for that wacky personal flair. It's a solid setup, and I'm sure you all know how I feel about changing things up with RGB. Thanks for entering, Luke. It was a pleasure. Last but not least, we have Jack, rocking the i7-7700K at 4.8GHz, cooled by the Kraken X62 all-in-one water cooler, 8GB of Corsair LPX RAM at 2800MHz, and the Corsair CX650 power supply. To keep things both simultaneously cool and lit, he uses the NZXT Air RGB fans connected to the Hue Plus unit. There is no GPU yet, but he's expecting his GTX 1070 to come within the next week or so. When that happens, he'll be using this for primarily gaming. And then he goes and calls me a, a pervert here. <laughs> Between his tower, Corsair Strafe RGB keyboard, Corsair Saber RGB mouse, and the Corsair MM800 Polaris mouse pad, he proudly wears a red, white, and blue theme. He has two monitors, the main one being a 27-inch HP, and the secondary display being a 21.5-inch 1080p ASUS panel. His audio solution here is the Logitech G933 wireless headset. And lastly, he's got a few figures, a cat statue, an antique bank lamp on his desk for that extra unique decor, and this awesome rustic-looking flag as a backdrop. It was painted by his mother, who enjoys that full cart kind of thing, and if anybody is interested in a flag like this or in this style of art, he's given me the liberty to share his email, greenacid82 at gmail.com, if you've got any questions. His email will also be in the description below, so feel free to go give him a holler. He's mentioned that his room is small, so taking some of the pictures proved to be a challenge, but Jack's got my back, and he came through. So, you've got my deepest gratitude, thanks for entering. If you guys want to set me up for the next set me up, follow the instructions, stick by the template in the description below, and check out the submission instructions video over here. Aim for the cleanest images you can get, the only dim thing in this video should be me. Like, dislike, comment, subscribe, share if you have thoughts on how I can improve the show based on what you've seen so far, let me know, I read everything. Patreon link is in the description if you want to help support my junk. Thanks for entering to those who did, Thanks for thinking about it to those who didn't, thanks in advance to those who will, and thanks for watching to everyone in general. My name is Steven, and I am a little dim. Bye bye. While I wish I was good at, 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 you know, I didn't mess up on the first line this time, but it was pretty damn close. Everything I do is wrong, did something on the floor. What is that? The submission video just, my nose is itchy. Ugh, no fair. I actually meant to provide me a list of your materials, peripherals. Where did materials come from? A list of your peripherals, not just a few key to, key, key, eight. This is gonna be a long day, night. Starting off strong, we have me. And by me, I mean not strong.
which I guess both are kind of right. We have three screens, a 28 inch A's with the assist from Pluto. Pl Pluto. Pluto. What's a Pluto? His first rig called Glass Box. That. <sighs> I think something happened to my voice. A 25 inch 14. Or not 1440, 144 hertz. Rats. He's got two monitors, a 25 inch 144 hertz. I hate monitors because they have so many numbers. A 25 inch 144 hertz, one millisecond response time panel. Damn, I got it right and then I stopped at the end because I thought I got it wrong. Two mice, the Logitech MX Bla Blaster. <laughs> the MX Blaster. That doesn't exist. There is no MX Blaster. <laughs> not, not from Logitech at least. And check out the submission instructions video linked up here. Yeah. I've done this how many times so far? And I still can't remember if it goes up here or over there. I just need to think it goes towards the RGB right there.